Okay, so we're going to actually make velocity vectors. Um, when we take this scenario, if I'm going to think about north, south, east, and west, and we recognize that this here is east and this here is north, so this is like 1, 0, and this is 0, 1 as component vectors. And so if I want to go 10 kilometers due west, I want to go in this direction, which means it's going to be negative 10, 0, as I that's the magnitude exactly west. When I'm going to do 7.5 in this direction, well, I need to find, so negative 3, 4 is here. I need this length to be 1. So what do I do? I find the magnitude of 3, 4, which I've done a million times is 5, 3 squared plus 4 squared square root. So it's going to be 7.5 over 5, negative 3, 4. This is this direction. And similar with this, but I'm going to do three dimensions, I'm going to skip that one. But if I want to do southwest, okay, if I want to go into the southwest, that means I'm going in this direction here exactly 45 degrees in that particular position. Well, if I want to do that, if I think about my angles, this is uh, 180 plus 45 this point here on the unit circle, so this has a length of 1, is simply cosine of 215 degrees, comma, sine of 215 degrees. Because that's what this is, and so this length is 1, and the angle is 215 if I'm going southwest. So that means my vector is going to be, for d part, it's going to be 5 cosine 215 over 5 sine of 215 and this is going to be taken care of all by uh, the, the, the positive sorry the positive negative will be taken care of by uh, the sines and cosines I know because I've done it so many times this is going to be 1 over root 2 negative so negative 5 times 1 over root 2 will give me this and this will also be the same value so I want to go E part to 15 degrees on a bearing of 40 degrees. Well, bearings always start from north, so I want to go 40 degrees in this direction here, where this angle is 40, which means that this angle is 50 degrees. And if I think about my unit circle that I could put here, I can get this value here, this length to be 1 for the unit circle, it means that this is going to be cosine of 50, sine of 50. And then I multiply it by 15 to make it as long as I want it to be. So it's going to be 15 cosine of 50 and 15 the sine of 50 degrees. And that will be my vector here if I work that out. And then if I want to go a bearing of 120 degrees, well that means I'm going to be 120 goes down to here. In this direction, same idea, but now I know that this angle here is 60 negative 60, or I could also go 300 this direction. Oh, I can't add or subtract. So if this is 120, this is 120, this value is 60, so this is 30. And so I could make this negative 30 degrees, or I could go 300 degrees. And again, it's going to be 12 kilometers the cosine then of negative 30 and the sine of negative 30. I hope that helps.